lights and flashing across the sky. Like a swift arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Canyon No Landers. Run us out of here, I guess. Well, I'll get rid of him. Oh, wait a minute. We can't afford that. Might attract some attention. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> That's Champ. Something's bothering him. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, cut it out! What's going on here? Well, what's it to you? Well, in case you two don't know it, prospecting isn't allowed here. This is government land. Not anymore, it isn't. What do you mean? Mister, for a stranger, you ask too many questions. I'm no stranger. I'm Sandy North. I've got a ranch over there. Well, then you better get back to it. <coughs> What's going on here? That's this North fella. He started it. I only got tough because they did. Maybe you can explain to me why they're prospecting on government land. Prospecting? Why, we're railroaders. These men are testing rock formations for the roadbed. Railroad through Wild Horse Canyon? That's right. The McNabb Railroad Company. I'm Mark Jessup, superintendent of construction. We've got a federal permit. That's strange. I should think this route would cost you people more money than... Look, Mr. North, I'm a railroad man and you're a rancher. I don't tell you how to raise cattle, so suppose you don't try to tell me how to build a railroad. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Mr. McNabb, the president, made the decision. He'll be here tomorrow, and if we haven't made some headway, he's not going to like it. All right, you two, get back to work. Uncle Sandy, if the railroad comes through here, what'll happen to Champ and the herd? The valley's their home. Well, we'll just have to find him another home somewhere else. But then I'd never see Champ at all. We've got to get Mr. McNabb to pick some other route. Mr. McNabb's a big businessman, Ricky. He's not going to change his plans because of a horse. But Champ isn't just any horse. He's the king of this valley. He belongs here. Well, you can see Mr. McNabb tomorrow if you want to, but you'll just be wasting your breath and his time. Now, don't worry, Champ. I'll get Mr. McNabb to change that route. Got to. I've juggled the figures in the surveyor's report, so it looks like Wild Horse Valley is the cheapest route. Good. We can start digging for what we're really after as soon as we... Mr. McNabb? Yeah? I'm Ricky North. I've got to talk to you, sir. It's about Champ. Champ who? Well, Champ's the stallion that leads the wild herd. He and I are sort of friends. And What's this got to do with us? Everything. If you put the railroad through Wild Horse Valley, the herd will have to be moved, and I'll lose him. Just a minute, son. <laughs> How about starting at the beginning? I didn't hear the first of this. Well, I was just trying to tell President McNabb well, about... I'm the president, son. This gentleman here is my cousin George. He's the vice president. Oh. Then you're the one that can change the route, aren't you? 
You don't seriously think we'd change our plans for a fool horse? Champ isn't a fool horse. He's smarter and stronger. Well, it just so happens I'm quite a fancy of horses, too. And if this Champ is so remarkable, maybe I ought to acquire him. You couldn't, Mr. McNabb. Mm -hmm. He won't let anybody ride him except me. But come on out to the valley and see how wonderful and handsome he is. Matthew, this is an absurd waste of time. We've got reports to go over here. Oh, George, Rome wasn't built in a day, nor is a railroad. As a matter of fact, I'd like to see Wild Horse Valley before I make any decisions. Let's go right now, Mr. McNabb. But, Matthew... We'll be back soon. Come on, son. Matthew goes scouting around Wild Horse Valley. He wouldn't be fool enough to reroute the line on account of that kid on a horse, would he? No. But he might find out it's not the cheapest route. And we'd lose our chance to sew up the mineral rights to the gold we found there. Wait a minute. With that wild herd out there, it shouldn't be hard to discourage Matthew from spending too much time snooping around the valley. Come on. Side to a horseman. Magnificent, Ricky. Just where do you see him in action? Look! Matthew! Right where Burke and Landers are going to stampede the wild herd. Get out of there, quick. That he isn't going to spend much time exploring Wild Horse Valley after this. Mr. McNabb, now that you've seen Champ, won't you let him stay here and put your railroad through somewhere else? Ricky, uh, you see all these plans here? We worked a long time preparing them, and we can't change them without losing a lot of money, even if we wanted to. Gosh, Mr. McNabb, there's plenty of places where railroads can go, besides Wild Horse Valley. Ricky. <laughs> we heard how that crazy bunch of Mustangs stampeded. You all right, Matthew? Yes, but I've had enough of Wild Horse Valley. But, Mr. McNabb... Ricky. Ricky, you run along. I want to talk to Mr. McNabb a minute. Yes, sir. Those horses usually don't behave like that, Mr. McNabb. Somebody spooked them. I heard men yelling to get them started running. What's the difference how they got started? The point is, they're dangerous. And just to keep them in the valley is no reason to reroute the railroad. I agree to that, of course. Well, there is one more point. When you surveyed this area, why'd you decide against Red Rock Canyon? It's the most direct route, the one the stage line uses. Red Rock Canyon? I didn't get a report on it. No, it was useless, Matthew. We didn't want to trouble you. The survey reports are all here. Check the figures yourself. Well, I don't want to argue with the figures, but I'd sure like to have you ride out there with me and look it over. All right. 
I can't promise anything, but I'll bring the surveyor's reports on Red Rock Canyon to your place so we can go over them together. If he gets Matthew out to Red Rock... Well, he won't if we can keep him busy enough. So long. So long. North and the kid think so much of that horse that if he got lost, they wouldn't have time for anything except looking for him. Fine chance of champ getting lost. Oh, I can fix that. I'll get some of the boys and we'll stalk him. Look, you keep after a horse. Drive him away from his home range. Never give him a chance to eat or drink or sleep. Then what? Nature takes care of the rest, with a little help. <laughs> You won't ever get card, Mr. Jessup. We've done more out two sets of horses chasing him already. Landers is bringing up some fresh mounts. Let's keep after him. My scheme is working all right. I didn't think it's possible for any horse to go that far without food or water. He's just about ready to give up. He's got to stay lost. We want the North kept busy looking for him a long time. When they find him, it'll be too late. Now, we better put up a barricade here, then. Uncle Sandy, I went all over the west end of the valley today. Champ just isn't anywhere. Well, he's got to be around somewhere. You better wash up now and get ready for supper. It'll be ready in a minute. I don't want any, Uncle Sandy. Just not hungry. Sandy, why don't you give Rick a hand tomorrow, and I'll scout Red Rock Canyon alone. Thank you, Mr. McNabb. Please come, Uncle Sandy. I got a feeling Champ's in terrible trouble. We'll find him, Ricky. There's lots of ground we haven't covered yet. <laughs> Here are some prints, but the horses were shod. There's an unshod one. And it's Champ. Are you sure? See that crack? Yeah. Champ has one in his right forehoof. Rebel, find Champ. Go find Champ, Rebel. Well, now that he's got a fresher scent, maybe we'll have better luck. George, here's the essay report. Take a look. Our gold mine is worth three times what we thought. Well, when do we start mining? Just as soon as Matthew O.T. is construction in Wild Horse Valley. I've almost gotten convinced that Red Rock Canyon won't do. And the North aren't around to unconvince him. I took care of that. <laughs> it looks like Rebel's really on the track now. Come on.
Campbell's a fine champ. nothing, Ricky. He's as rugged as they come, and he's got a great heart. He'll make it. You'll be all right now, Champ. We're gonna make you strong again. How could Champ get trapped like this? Why, all of this stuff was dragged across here to block the entrance. You can tell by the marks in the dirt. Somebody wanted to make sure that Ricky and I had our hands full finding Champ. Well, I've got an idea. It's the same somebody who docked the reports on Red Rock Canyon. What? You were right. I made a thorough check of every section of that area, and I found George's figures had been juggled. But we still don't know what he stands to gain by the Wild Horse Valley route. We'll find out, and when we do, there's every prospect that... You just said it, Matthew, prospect. When Champ is back on his feet, you and I are going prospecting. Hey, this doesn't look much like building equipment. <laughs> Looks more like mining equipment. Gold pan, see? <laughs> Hey, this is quartz. I wonder where it came from. Let's try that ledge up there. There's a lot of traffic here. I was trying to quartz. Sandy, look. Hey, this could be our answer. All right, Sandy, this could be the answer. We're in trouble, McNabb. That cousin of yours in North found the mine shaft, and they're in it right now. They're inside? That's right, and I heard enough to know they're suspicious of what you're up to. If they're inside, they might not get out, but we gotta hurry. Come on. This is I hope for. The horses are back there, so they're still in the mine. Let's go. What's your idea, George? Cousin Matthew's gonna have an accident that could happen to anybody exploring an old mine shaft. Set this in the shaft mouth. Be quick about it. This horse should have to say I'm very rich. And that accounts for George's whole scheme. He's in the railroad as a cover-up while digging for gold in Wild Horse Valley. into town a little while and report Cousin Matthew missing. Somebody's coming. Get behind cover. Trouble in reporting the accident. Better for us. Sounded like the explosion was right down there. But there's Uncle Sandy's horse and Mr. McNabb. Uncle Sandy!
sorry, champ. Stay here. <laughs> you and Landers get down there, quick. I guess I'm all right, Mr. Matthews. What happened? Well, I know it wasn't an accident. <laughs> I got one. Can you hold it in your left hand? Indeed I can. As long as it's pointed at George or Jessup. If I can get those two in here, you hold them off long enough for me to go get George. Ricky, take cover behind those rocks. <laughs> Jessup, it's a good thing you're here. Matthew's in there, and he's hurt bad. Is he still alive? I think so, but I don't know how long he'll last. Go see for yourselves. <laughs> it's all right, Rebel. Hold him there, champ. It's a trick. Matthew's alive down there. They're trapping Jessup and Matthews. as long as he catches up with George. All right, Matthews, let him come out. Looks like he's done it. Keep your hands up and march. Can you make it, Mr. McNabb? I wouldn't miss having a few words with George, even if it killed me. Out there. Yeah, this is a government permit to run the railroad through here. Thought I'd let Champ see me tear it up, but uh, I can't do much tearing my left hand. Go well, Rebel will take care of that for you. Just give it to him. Oh, think so? <laughs> here you are, Rebel. Oh. Go on back to the herd and tell him not to worry. So why not, Champ? Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him. 